AI is being used to improve all aspects of your smartphone experience, and one area that has brought huge improvements is in smartphone cameras. Within the field of artificial intelligence, we have machine learning, which uses algorithms to discover recurring patterns in data sets and improves performance over time. A subset of machine learning is deep learning, which processes an even larger range of complex data in a more sophisticated way through neural networks. These neural networks achieve even more precise results and predictions, and one popular one used in image processing is called a convolutional neural network. We can find these deep learning models everywhere from self-driving cars to image segmentation on x-rays, satellite imaging for detecting gas leaks, and of course, smartphone photography. When it comes to smartphone cameras, you may wonder, how do they distinguish between different elements within a scene? While well, the smartphone uses deep learning to perform what is called semantic segmentation, this is the process of classifying each pixel in an image in real time into predefined categories such as buildings, sky, or people. This is different from traditional image classification models that label entire images. With the help of this neural network and a powerful chipset, individual adjustments can be made to the subject such as color rendering and autofocus or modifying the sky to adjust the highlights and accentuate the blue color. This becomes especially challenging to properly segment the foreground subject from the background and separate fine details like hair and portrait mode to simulate a shallow depth of field. However, before these elements can effectively be identified and treated, it must be trained by a large set of labeled data. There are data sets that specialize in training cameras for segmentation of all types of real-world elements. Ultimately, the software tuning becomes more and more important in smartphone photography to get the most out of the AI capabilities and powerful hardware. Each manufacturer will tune their software to prioritize certain factors, like the balance between texture and noise in low light, or the amount of blur in portrait mode, just to name a few examples. There are also many other ways in which AI adjusts and improves your overall smartphone experience, so stay tuned for more episodes.